So, we are back, and we're in a new location. Ignore that, I wanna show you the new shop. Let me slow it down. That's the end of the tour. Goodbye. All right. So, I am back. I have been out for quite a while. If you've been following my channel, you will notice that there's a little bit different background. We're in a new spot. So, I sold my other house right after I finished the shop. We sold the house and we moved to a different house. We, we, we're having more kids, so we bought a bigger house, more property, but we lost the shop. So right now we're operating out of a 10 foot wide by 14 foot long space. And I'm going to show you how it's set up. I was going to build a bigger shop, but I kind of have this place working pretty efficiently right now. So right now we're just focusing on building the business, getting YouTube back up and running of which I'm going to start making videos every week. Every front. My goal is to have a new video out every Friday. That's my goal. So much so that you should see it in the banner of the channel. It should say new videos every Friday. And I might put a dot, 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 mostly. I am going to try to get new videos out every week. I've been kind of slacking with YouTube. But we got in, we got moved out, we got set up. I'm finally set up in this shop to where I can kind of show you some things, some good ideas that I came up with inside of a small space. So we're going to do a quick shop tour. Um, and that's about it. We'll do a shop tour and go from there. So let's do a quick shop tour. So going with the typical shop tour fashion, I'm first going to show you my door. This is perhaps the most important feature of my shop because it allows one to enter and exit. If it wasn't for the door, you wouldn't be able to get into the building. Doors are important spaces for the shop. Okay, so enough of this stupidity. So you walk into the door and immediately to this side is my lumber racks. I built these using some scrap two by fours, ripped them down with some scrap plywood. Let me get you to the, look at that. It is glued and it's held pretty well. It's had some lumber on here and it has not failed. And I'm about one, two, three shelves high. I got one shelf there and I'm gonna make some more shelves for the other side of the shop. So there's something weird going on with this shop if you don't see it. That side is super high. I say super high, it's about 12 foot high and it just comes down and down and down to where we get to this side of the shop. And it's literally, you know, I could touch the ceiling. So it's about seven foot high on this side, 11 foot on that side. So it goes, it just goes at a weird angle. So the challenge is to utilize as much of that tall space as possible. And that's, I'm still working on that, but I want to show you some of the things that I do. Anyway, so lumber racks, they don't stack. I got my remotes here. I had this on my little clip on, which I'll show you in a minute, but I kept turning the dust collector on and off and on and off and on and off from bumping into stuff. So I put it on the wall. That is for my dust, my air cleaner. That's for my air cleaner, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to show you that in a minute too. Dado stack that. I'm going to flip you around. Hi. So, track saw. We bought a track saw since I've been absent. We bought a Festool track saw, and I love it. Lumber storage. This is kind of a junk corner. That's obviously a broom. If you don't know what a broom is, you're going to need a broom to get into woodworking. So we actually had this window cut out when we got here. There was no window here. There was no air conditioner at all. So we had this window cut out and installed. We put the window unit in. That's the, uh, I forget the names of everything. Drill press, the drill press, which I have an assembly video, which you should go check out. I bought it, I built a wine tower out of it, and I haven't had much use since, but it has paid for itself. It's a handy tool to have, but it's more of a luxury item. This is a drill press cart that is in progress. I haven't had much need to finish it. I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to make a video of it, but this is what we have now. We're going to an official miter station. 
and I'm going to show you what we have going on here. So I want to keep keep moving. If you can kind of see what's going on from this wall, we're going that way. Uh, your press cart I just showed you. Miter saw station. I do have it hooked up to a vacuum. The boom arm, which I love. That's going to be another video. So I have used it quite a lot since it is set up like this. I only use it for rough cuts. It has come in handy. And it's nice. The vacuum automatically kicks on when the miter saw kicks on. It's nice to have. It doesn't collect all the dust, but it does collect most of it. Down here, I have a Q-Tech planer. And if I remember, I'll put a link to the description. Very nice planer. It was $700, I believe, for being a benchtop planer. It comes with a helical head, and it has pretty good dust collection when you actually have it hooked up to a vacuum. I have it on wheels, 13 inch wide, and um, six inches in height. So you can get a pretty good solid You get a pretty good solid, you know, board going through there. The helical head on here, I absolutely love it. It cuts like butter. I had to get rid of the big bell saw planer that I had and a lot of the other big equipment and, you know, kind of downgrade because, or downside, not downgrade, uh, because none of that equipment would fit. I don't have any 220 in this shop and I haven't run new wire yet. And just to show you what's in my drawers. Old dowel jig, haven't used that in a while because we got a domino joint, boy. These little containers are very handy. If I can find them, I will put a link in the description. Uh, they're very handy to have for, and you'll see more of that going on. Another, I got to make a holder for this. I actually received this and some, a few other tools from a nice gentleman in my community that was getting rid of some tools to make space for a shop. Well, it's a little junk drawer. Uh... Clamps, nails, stuff like that. This, this is really my junkiest drawer, I think. And then that's just some extra tools, which I don't really use that much. Out of sight, out of mind. <clears throat> Miter saw station. Square fits right underneath it. It is level. So when I put a board, it's level all the way across. Next drawer. Look at that organization. I haven't used this or this yet like I said this came from a gentleman in my community this is a molding blade for the table saw and it has a bunch of different inserts I don't know if you can see that and I'm looking forward to trying it out and I will try it out on camera and let you know how it goes that's an older dado stack tapes pencils pens markers these containers like I said very useful keep going random hardware more containers, air tool stuff, grinding stuff, still organized, and a painter. I love it. The Semi Pro 2 by Fuji, well worth the money, especially staining. I won't use it for painting again, but staining it does perfect. So, moving along, this is all bed space where my table saw would be against the wall. So what I did was I moved the table saw over where when I run a sheet good or something through here, the miter saw fence doesn't hinder with this fence. So I get a full three foot, sometimes even more if I need it, a full three foot on my, on my table saw fence that I could use without being hindered. That's why I have it moved over as far as I do. Vacuum, uh, this little cyclone separator works pretty good. This hooks up to the miter saw and any other time that I vacuum the shop, I use that. Dust collector back there, it's mainly only hooked up to the table saw. That's the main tool that I use. And I have a cyclone separator hooked up to the dust collector. Not really worth the money. It, all it does is separate the big chips. It doesn't really separate anything else. So that bag, which I was hoping it would fill up in there before it goes into the bag. That bag fills up very quickly. I'm going to try to figure out a way to replace it or run a duct outside of the house where it'll just all feed to the outside air and keep me from having to switch out a bag every couple of weeks. It fills up very quickly. And so my last video, if you've been part of the channel, you know that I bought this Laguna 
but before the new year, I believe, I think it was 2021, at the end of 2021, I bought this Laguna F2 Fusion table saw, and I like it. I will do a review on it. I've thrown a lot of wood through it. It's got its pros and it's got its cons. You'll notice I don't have the dust collection hooked up to the top anymore. The dust collection on this is the main con, but it's a pretty good table saw. I do like it. I will be doing a review video on it within the next few videos. That's one of my plans is to do a good review on this. This is the model prior to the newest Fusion 2 model. So it doesn't have some of the fanciness down here. There may have been some improvements made, but this is what they had at my local supplier. So this is what I got. I didn't think I was getting it, but I got it. And I didn't feel like fighting to get the newer model. Probably should have, but too late now. Live and learn. I do like it. I do like the saw. But like I said, it's got its pros. It's got its cons. And so, if you look up, you'll see my boom arm. That is one of the handiest things in my shop. Give you a better view of the dust collection down here. This switch, I will, if I remember, I'll put a link for that. And the Lone Ranger, sorry, down there. Shop Fox dust collector, it works pretty well. The bag just fills up pretty quickly. I'll show you from the other side, that cyclone there, that chip, chip cyclone separator, it's not worth the money, but I'll show you what it is. Anyway, so there's the table saw, and I am working on these projects right here. There's three projects currently going on. That's a good money maker in my area. A lot of people don't really, a lot of people do them, but people still ask for it. That's a little coffee table we're working on, and that is going to be a foyer table. But, so let me show you. You walk in the door, you go this way. We've covered all this, right? That's the table saw. This is directly in the center of the length of my shop. It's 14 and a half foot long, I believe, but I can run a full sheet of plywood, eight foot. I can run a full sheet of plywood and rip it down, no issues. The main issue is the space over here. I kind of bump into this, which I'm going to be moving it pretty soon. I bump into that um, pretty often. But anyway, so we're walking. We added those outlets. And here we are. So we'll get going this way. Part of my frustration with videos is I just did a lot of footage and the microphone wasn't quite hooked up right. And I got to reshoot all of it, but I'll do it. Anyway, so I'm not a tool snob, but I am running a business. A lot of people complain about Festool and woodworkers using Festool. I used um, dowel jigs for the longest time. I used Craig jig for the longest time. I even did hand cut joinery. If you're running a business, you're looking to make money, right? So I invest in tools like Festool that make the job go quicker and actually make a better product. This is the best money that I've spent in the entire shop. Anything, really anything Festool. And I'm not a fanboy, but I like good tools. So I can sand inside of my shop using just this vacuum and just a sander. No sand in the air. It works great. So I have a Festool sander, sandpaper. I have the track saw, domino joiner, which I bought recently in the videos, and domino. So that's all the Festool I have. I do want to expand. I want to try the router, all the other things, but I have to have the work to justify it. This has been the greatest investment in my business. Like I said, I'm doing it as a business. If you're a hobbyist, you don't really need the best tools. You can get started with a dowel jig like all of us have. You can get started with other tools that are available. Use tools. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're trying to run and grow a business, good tools, they pay for themselves in the long run. This work table, this was actually a desk I was using. I've been working from home since COVID um, for an engineering company. This was actually my computer desk I had in my uh, bedroom where I had my office at our last house. This is an awesome table to have in your shop because the height is adjustable and it's on casters. You can, you can roll this thing anywhere. You can adjust the height, roll something outside, work on it outside, roll it back in, and you're golden. Love this table. I'm actually going to be buying a couple more of them for inside and outside the shop. And so, 
moving along. This cabinet, I've just recently built it. I'm going to be putting a door on it, hanging some tools on the outside. This tool wall is new as well. So we'll start off over there. Drills, other hand tools, which somebody knocked around. I had this so organized. Somebody been in here. So anyway, power tools, hearing protection. Isotunes works pretty well. I like it. You can listen to music and it's hearing protection, which is very good inside of a shop. Hand planes, I got from that same gentleman in my community. Uh, gave me a very good deal on it. I'm very appreciative of it. I got some hand planes, shoulder plane or rabbit plane. Um, good night. I am forgetting the names of everything. Shoulder plane, rabbit plane, scraper, guard scraper. And I just got this uh, spoke shave. So these are pretty, pretty well maintained tools. Stanley. Uh, for the scraper, this Craftsman hand plane. I think this is a Stanley. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a Stanley. It doesn't really have the name on it, but it, it, it's a good quality, good quality tool. I've already used it. So, anyway. Mallets, squares, another hammer, chisels, which I desperately need to sharpen and maintain. I'm getting around to using them some more lately. Screwdriver, scissors, basic stuff that you pretty much use. Having all this stuff right here, it, it's been pretty nice. It's been very handy. I've only built this for about a week ago and working on stuff that I have in the past week, it's just... I mean, it's been phenomenal. It's nice to have everything on the wall and accessible right next to where you're working. So anyway, moving on. Japanese hand saws. I got some other planes here, which I've used this one recently. It's a freaking monster. I like it. Jack plane, some other planes that I need to get some parts for. A tool well. So I don't like having ugly stuff on my wall or irregular stuff like this. It's good for scraping glue, but I don't like looking at it. So I built a little tool well. It works great. Router. Router bits. Forstner bits. I plan on filling this thing up. Um, Brad Neller's paper towels. Glue. I hadn't figured out what I'm going to put here yet. But this right here. I'm going to link this in the description. This is one of the best projects that I've done in this shop. This and the boom arm, the absolute best things that I've built in this shop. So this, I'm going to flip you around and show you. This is actually an accessory organizer, if that makes sense. But I've taken and put all of my hardware assortments, whatever it is, labels, they've got dividers, I can take the drawer out, bring it to the project that I'm working on, and then put it right back. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is actually an accessory organizer, if that makes sense. But I've taken and put all of my hardware assortments, whatever it is, labels, they've got dividers. I can take the drawer out, bring it to the project that I'm working on, and then put it right back. And I have, and just to give you a better view of it, uh, let's go over here. So I keep all my Craig screws here because I do use it pretty often. I can label it. One and a quarter pocket screws. Coarse, fine. Makes it so freaking easy, man, to find stuff. Lathe screws, let it focus. Come on, focus, focus. That's enough. Lathe screws, half inch, and I didn't label that length. But I typically do label the differing widths of the screws. There's a good example. With the intention of keeping those type of screws in stock. And of course, it does become a catch-all for random stuff. Got some handles, junk. Um, but I mean, it's just so nice to be able to take it, take the drawer out. I could put it back. So nice. And I want you to notice something. 
table saw height, miter saw station height, this countertop height, it's all one plane, one even plane. That's very important for a small shop. So let's go into the drawers. Mold drawers. Well, let me give you a. So this, I still got to put drawer faces on it, but this is the current cabinet on this side of the work table. That's right. That's organization right there. Sandpaper from our regular sanders. Uh, some other stuff. Magic eraser down here. I don't know if you can see it. Magic eraser. That's some CA glue. Very handy to have. Next drawer. Craig jig, Craig jig, other stuff. Staplers. A whole lot of nothing. Down here. I want to have faces on it. I had to take the top off of this, but I've been using it as charging station. I don't have very many batteries, but it's nice to have a one spot to put it. Glue, some uh, ratchet, ratchet set, stuff like that. Now here's my sharpening stuff. I haven't filled these up yet. I plan on filling them up pretty quickly. Finishing material, steel, wool, gloves. I got some rags in here. Good finishing rags. A little router. Got my jigsaw. Blades. And under here, ooh, move all the trash out the way. Under here, I just got some grinders. Nothing, nothing crazy. So, anyway, give you a good little shot. I guess I'll slow down. A good little shot. Somebody's trying to break into my shop. And they stop. That was my tool wall, but I moved everything. So there's some stuff up there, stuff up there. Clamp wall, which I plan on changing. You see where that actually goes into my house. I'm going to cover that. That goes outside. I'm going to close that in as well. This is super cool. Check it, watch. Oh, hold up, there you go. All these clamps on one board. Very handy. Yeah, caught you. Caught you. So, so that's the shop. I hope you enjoyed the tour. There's going to be many more videos coming out. Uh, the next video is going to be tips and tricks on how to work in a small space. This is 140 square foot, but I've built some pretty big projects out of this space just in the time that we've been here. Um, so we're going to be coming out with new videos. Like I said, every Friday is the goal and we're going to get this channel back up and going. My promise still stands. When I get to a thousand subscribers, I am going to give away a Festool Domino Joiner. It's such an awesome tool. If you want to get a Festool Domino Joiner, at least get the chance to get one for free, subscribe to my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn on that bell, bell icon, the bell icon, to get alerted every time we post new videos, which if we go by the current track record, it won't be very often, but if we go by what I'm promising and I'm going to stay true to my word, it'll be at least once a week. I am thinking about doing a bunch of shorts as well, sped up to where we just do random stuff, but I'm still debating that, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, stay updated. We got a lot more content coming out and I am looking forward to getting back on track. Oh, wait, wait. I got to show you one more thing. Up here. I'm, going, I'm just going to flip you. Blah! Extension reel and the air filtration system. That's the industrial size, and it works very well. The other filter, I got to blow this thing out. See how dusty that thing is? I blow it out at least once a week. That thing works awesome. It is the larger size. I think it was 200 or 250 bucks. I'm not sure. Works very well. I'll do a video on that as well, on some other tools, stuff like that. But that's where we are. So new videos coming out. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. And I'm looking forward to putting out some more content that's useful for you in the shop. I think that's all I got. I hope the microphone recorded everything, but I highly doubt it. I actually need to go back and see what got jacked up. <clears throat> and I've had the AC off, actually, and it's getting pretty freaking hot. But when I have the AC going, it's loud.
So, you know, I made a sacrifice for you, and I hope you appreciate it.